We begin with the need for speed. Formula One racing taking over South Florida. Chopper 4 giving us a bird's eye view of the F1 track that's right outside of Hard Rock Stadium. Good evening, I'm Carly Barnett. The Miami Grand Prix isn't until tomorrow, but today drivers are hitting the track in hopes of earning a spot in the big race. CBS4 sports anchor Mike Cuno joining us live from Miami Gardens with the latest. Hey, Mike. Hey, Carly, that's right. Every day I'm out here, I'm more and more impressed by the sheer number of people coming out. Yesterday it was a practice round, tens of thousands of people. Today it's qualifying. Even more people to see these guys get in these cars and drive around the track, some of them topping about 200 miles per hour. For the second straight day, Formula One was turning heads at Hard Rock Stadium. Charles Leclerc from Ferrari winning the pole position for Sunday's race, much to the delight of some of the fans we spoke to. I'm looking forward to turn 18, which is where we're sitting, and it's a tough turn. And uh, Charles Leclerc yeah. getting that first P1 spot. The fans here to see qualifying rounds packed into the grandstands or even found empty spots down low by the fences just to see the world's best drivers up close. Did you ever think you'd basically be arm's distance away from this? No, no. <laughs> Earlier today, I kind of made someone take a photo of me like from in there. Uh, so I got some great shots. We spoke to fans from all over the U.S. and Canada who came down to see international racing. But of course, with any major sporting event in this town, there's more than just the action on the track. And of course, they certainly aren't too shy about spending big dollars to get in the front door. Everything is really nice. The people is really happy. So it's really good, all this yeah. experience. Are you here for the racing or for the party? For the party. <laughs> <laughs> really for the party. Yeah, whether you're here for the parties or the racing, there's plenty here for fans. So if you still have a chance to get out here, try to grab one of those tickets. It is a really cool event. And Leclerc, as we mentioned, he's going to be starting the race in that pole position, that number one position. We're going to hear from him coming up in sports about winning today and what it means going forward for tomorrow and what he thinks about the turnout here in Miami as well. Carly, back to you. Exciting stuff, Mike. Thanks. The Miami Grand Prix weekend means plenty of closures as well. Exit 2X will be closed again today. It closed at 5 a.m. until 8 tonight. All lanes of Northwest 199th Street from Northwest 14th Court to 27th Avenue will be closed in both directions for three hours from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. On Northwest 27th Avenue, all northbound lanes will be closed from 191st Street to 203rd Street, also from 4.30 to 7:30. You can find a list of tomorrow's closures on our website cbsmiami.com.